my name's Merrick. I'm here with Mike Goley and Brent. And we were doing some evangelism today, handing out abolitionist information regarding the, the preborn. And Mike, can you tell us why we're here at the St. Joe County Jail today? Yeah, we, we were at the event for what, like an hour and, a half? An hour and a half? An hour yeah. and a half, uninterrupted, other than the, the, the pro boards and people like that, you know. And um, we were handing out literature and holding signs. And, and then the police approached us. I think it was St. Joseph County PD pretty sure and uh, they basically told us if we didn't leave they were going to arrest us for trespassing and they seemed very serious yeah they'd already got so their gloves on they had their gloves on yeah. they had their hands on their cuffs they were not messing around there was no hesitation so I, I opted to just go ahead and leave uh, under threat of duress basically under threat of arrest rather than getting arrested today um, so that was kind of the choice we made Unlike in the past where they didn't seem very serious today, they seemed like they were definitely going to arrest us and use force. So we just kind of chose to leave uh, under threat of duress and we exited to the perimeter of the park basically. And um, what's interesting is we actually did a very similar outreach in July for the Pride event and we were told that we were okay to be Yeah, there. yeah. They left so, us alone the so, last time. So what happened after we, we had left, some of us went to the other side and, and you were just sort of standing in this street where there were taco trucks and it was kind of closed off for parking which was outside of the park they told us to leave the park and we exited well they they told us we had to go to the other side of the street which is a really common tactic they go you know you can't be right on this side of the street you have to go to the other side of the street yeah. which we all know is not correct it's um, arbitrary it's very arbitrary yeah. because there's always a public right away along the side of any street and besides it's a public park anyways right which is really yeah, confusing at, at the about very the baseline thing. it's a public it's a public park, park it's not a ticketed but, event but either way, I, I asked the officer um, for the ordinance that he was citing. He kept saying, there's an ordinance, there's an ordinance. And I asked for the ordinance, and then he grabbed my wrist and put me in handcuffs. And I asked him why I was being arrested, and he said for um, uh, resisting. Yeah, resisting a lawful order. Well, that, he said, but he just said resisting at first. Yeah. And then later, I think he said resisting a lawful order. And I said the, the order was unlawful. Right. Um, so t tell us what's interesting about that is you weren't actually charged or booked for resisting. No. So according to the paperwork that I got in there and what they told me in there, um, I was arrested for criminal trespass. Right. Yeah. So that's that's really interesting, and we'll, we'll see how the story develops. Criminal trespass yeah. from Potawatomi, Potawatomi, Potawatomi <laughs> Public Park. How he says it. So, so public uh, park. It's not a ticket event. There's not a gate. It's not like you have to pay to go. There's people from the community, yeah. hundreds of people. And we were now, people in the neighborhood. I, I will say, everyone in here treated me really well. Okay, so yeah. everybody in here was really nice, um, very understanding, listened to the gospel. Uh, I think several several people I would say are probably Christians from, yeah. from what I talked to them about. Um, yeah, but, but here they're really nice, so that that's one good yeah. thing. Yeah. They let me have water, too. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> but those cops, a lot of these law enforcement officers we, we've met in the past yeah. at other events, some of them are nicer than others, but a couple of real specific ones are very vile and get together. tyrannical, and you, you could really see it was almost like a, oh, there was, like a mob effect. Yeah. They, they were they, not joking at all. We had no, more they instances they than just bluffing. this. I mean, they were just being tyrants all the way through. I mean, I approached them because someone had stolen my signs, and they were so condescending to me. And at one point, somebody had threatened to physically hurt me because of an incident that happened. And I said, well, let's take this to the 10 police officers that are standing in the circle. Let's discuss it with them. And when I approached them and I told them about it, they just looked at me, didn't, didn't say a word to me. And then the police officer said, you need to stand 25 feet back because this is a private meeting. So I had to go 25 feet back and say, I've been threatened to be assaulted. I had to yell at him. I'm like, is this how we're supposed to yeah. file our complaints? Are we file reports to the police? So we were dealing with, through and through, just tyrants, um, godless, uh, lawless uh, folks with badges. So nope. we're really just bullies. All citizens should be really concerned about this, Christian or not. And the main reason I want to say that is because the precedent that's being established currently in some of these uh, transgressions against our rights as, as citizens of the United States is that if you want to trample upon the rights of citizens in public spaces, all you have to do is rent it out and then you can trample upon the rights of the citizens. So all the government now is what the, the precedent they're establishing is that if we don't want the citizens to be able to exercise their rights in these public spaces, all we have to do is find a private organization to rent out the space. The and, board, and then we can you squash your rights. And that means that all these public spaces are not gonna be safe anymore for us to actually exercise our rights as citizens, freedom of speech, 
uh, right to carry, all those sorts of things, right? Unlawful searches and seizures, because now they're saying that because these people have rented out a space publicly, they're not charging admission, they're not roping it off, they don't, they don't like own the space, they just kind of are occupying it. They're saying that none of your rights apply now anymore. It's a private space now. Once they do this, they can, they can do that with any public space they want. All they have to do is sign a contract or something. I mean, the government, think of, how, think, of how, think of how they could do this. They could say, we're gonna rent this space out for like a dollar a day, and now we can trample upon the rights of citizens. It's a bad precedent. Everybody should be upset about this, whatever, whatever your stance on all of it is. You should be upset about this. Yeah, yeah. so um, share. Very soon we're going to upload the video of the arrest itself. We got high quality video. Please share that with whoever you can. Share this video. Um, people need to know this. That we're going to have a call to action. This is and will affect them. If it can happen to us, it certainly can you. Mm -hmm. um, we were grateful. A lot of people thanked us as we were leaving. We had a young couple with children come up, and they were very grateful that we were sharing the message that you know children are valuable and that life is beautiful and not to be trampled on just as our rights were so and christian's just an ad admonition to to get out get out in the streets get out in the in the darkness of our culture and this was a this was just an art festival you know we went in peacefully yeah. we always go in peacefully and uh you know get out there and get busy with the gospel because it is needed these people need to hear the gospel they are lost and they are truly God. So get out there and get busy, church. Yeah. So what's your final message for the, the, the police here in St. Joe County in South Bend? Uh, don't be a tyrant. And, um, you know, uh, the, the, the civil magistrate's job is to wield the sword against the evildoer and reward those who do good. That's Romans 13. And when they overstep their bounds, we as citizens, we need to hold them accountable. They're going to be ultimately accountable to God no matter what happens here. Um, but they need to be held accountable. Um, and and I... I, I the officer who drove me to the jail, the officer, I mean, I, I told them to just believe on Christ. That's what they need to do. Believe on Christ, stop being the tyrant, uphold what's good and, and abhor what is evil. Um, yeah. And for everybody else who's afraid of stuff like this, don't be afraid of the one who can harm the body, but be afraid of the one who can harm both body and soul in hell forever. And our job is obedience. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Amen. Yep. And there will be calls to action to, in order to uh, get a hold of the... Uh, St. Joseph County Jail and, and get in touch with the, the people involved and hold them accountable. So yeah. be on the lookout. Thank you.